are in Boho today and we're gonna start this vlog off in the Philippines Tarsier Sanctuary which is just ahead of me. This is not like a zoo where they uh, cage them. So they actually live here. So every day there's trackers that go find them and then the trackers will lead you around so you can spot them in nature because they're nocturnal creatures and this is obviously daytime. Uh, most of them will be asleep, but they're so cute, so little. One of the main reasons I came to Bohol and I think one of the main reasons many people come to Bohol is to see these little guys. So I'm gonna show you some background footage and after that, I have a scooter. We're gonna go around the island, see the other top things to do in Bohol. I wanna check it out and of course share it with you guys. So Tarsiers first and then we continue on. So that's the entrance. It's 150 per person to get in, which is about three bucks. Oh man, they're like, they're like that big. <laughs> they're super cute. Luckily, a few of them moved a bit and we got to see four of them, which what they said they track for you to see every day. Uh, you kind of want to take one home, but of course we can't. <laughs> There's a couple puppies here messing about. Look at this. <laughs> gotta show you these puppies. Look at these puppies. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Oh, look at you. You're biting that one. Oh my God. That one's playing rough. Oh my God. Well, if the tarsiers weren't enough, you can come for the puppies. <laughs> Onwards we go. Next stop, Lombok River. This is the Lubbock River. It's uh, famous for its beauty. It of course continues on both sides of this bridge. And one of the popular things to do here is a cruise on the river. And they're popular because they have a really nice all-you-can-eat buffet. Let's go be a tourist. Let's support the economy for a change. And let's go check out this cruise. Conditioned. We're buying the ticket now. 8.50. She's showing me 8.50, <laughs> which is like 16 bucks. Proceed to gate number four, sir. All right, gate number four. This complex is crazy big. Oh my God, it's like a hotel. And wow, look at this entrance. Gate four, boat number six. They've done such a good job, oh my God. Look at these boats, they're beautiful. Oh my God. I'm actually very happy to be a tourist today. So far, so good. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. good morning. So we go from one boat through another boat, through another boat, and the last one on this list is our boat. Oh, I get a private table. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Food's already ready. Oh my God, check out this food. There's fruits. Dessert, meats, noodles, rice, 
Boom. Let's get a shot of these boats. See how cool they are? They're like houses on two pontoons, but well-decorated houses. Of course, we get some rice. Jackfruit curry, maybe? Let's get a couple of these guys. This looks like heaven. Look at that crispy skin there. Chew. That was really good. Oh my God, for like 15 bucks. Oh, they had it all. They had obviously a beautiful river, really cool boat, amazing food. The singer was great. They even did karaoke. Everyone was having a good time. No brainer. Yeah, you must do this. Be a tourist for a day for crying out loud. <laughs> and come do it. Thank you. Ooh, the temperature definitely drops a bit when you get here. It says you are now entering a man-made forest. Watch out for falling branches. <laughs> Alright, I'll watch out. Oh, this is nice, eh? I have no idea how big this area is. Wow, look at that. Check out these guys, they're in the middle of the street taking a photo. They're risking their lives for a good shot. Yeah, hey, check it out, huh? Wow. Ah, oh, the temperature's so nice. It actually drizzled just a few minutes ago and now it's stopped again. Thank goodness. Welcome to the man-made forest. Let's go. And we continue our ride through this forest. Again, I'm not sure how long it is. Maybe that was it, but <laughs> it's still beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful place, right? Man. See, this is this is why I came to Bohol. Yeah, it has beaches. It has, you can sunbathe. You can go, you know, snorkeling. You can do other things. But I really wanted to come to see this stuff as well as the Tarshirs and the Chocolate Hills, which we have yet to see. but. That's coming up, my friends, it's coming up. A quick note on seeing tray shears. So if you can see behind me, there's some buses. There's another place to see tray shears and it's called tray shear park. The place we stopped by is supposed to be more natural. Like they live there and we just spot them and see them. And, uh, but then there's this one and maybe there's other ones. This one's obviously the really commercial one. You could see buses and bus loads, buses loads of people coming here, Hobbs. I don't know what that experience is like. If you come to Bohol and you want to see tray shears, read up on all the different options and see which one makes the most sense to you. But I cannot believe how many people are in this one. <laughs> so the one we went to, I think was called the Philippine Tray Shear Sanctuary. I think this one's called Tray Shear Park. Anyway, check it out, and before you go visit, read about it, and pick the one you want. And it's raining. <laughs> I brought a raincoat. Woo! Yeah. Oh my god. It's raining. Maybe it'll stop when I put it on. <laughs> I don't mind. Three minutes later, it's sunny. 
but there's definitely clouds up there if you can see hopefully it's very localized weather depending on where you are you could get soaked or you could think it's a beautiful blue sky day my friends it is time for the chocolate hills at sunset again there's more than one place to watch this spectacle and hopefully tonight's sunset will be good but my wonderful guest house told me about this place which I had never heard before Bud Agta I'll provide some info for you guys below um, because there's another place it's called the Chocolate Hills Complex also beautiful that one is a hundred pesos this one is 50 <sighs> we're climbing up <laughs> let me show you climb up climb up and I guess the viewpoint is up there the owner of the place I'm staying said this one's better so why not we'll give it a shot Whew. it's an uneven road all right it's that time of the day friends we're up here to see the sunset over the chocolate hills this is a climb we're uh, not even to the top yet and we're kind of high up already we are at the top and the only other people here one two three and four are from the same place I'm staying. Wonderful place, I'll tell you guys more about it because you guys should know about it. <laughs> and uh, it's not sunset yet, but look at how high we are. This is cool. You can see the hills in the distance. They are way bigger than I thought. I've only seen pictures of them and they always seem like bumps. Well, they are bumps oh my god <laughs> very nice so we still have some time before the sun goes down but wanted to get here a little early um, to get a good spot but that does not seem to be an issue at the moment so there's two platforms uh the one here platform <laughs> and there's another platform there 50 pesos it's like a buck and we'll wait for the sunset We've got some drone shots. We've got some time lapses going. The sun is almost down. It's really literally just the people from where I'm staying. We're having a blast. Surprise, my friends. It's the next morning. We're walking up for sunrise. It's like 5.20 a.m. or something. The crew. <laughs> we made it. Wow. So we're on top of one of the mounds. One of the chocolate hills. And there's all of them. Let's give you guys a better view. from that amazing sunrise this is where we're staying i want to show you guys this place because it's been an amazing experience it's called the uh, 
Bohol Hammock Hostel. I'll link it down below. It's a beautiful property. It's all the way from there. That's where our bikes are parked. And look at this place. It's covered in coconuts. Um, and then the new building there is where everyone stays. You also have private huts. But what's amazing about this location, and when you look it up on the map, you'll see exactly where it is. You can go to sunrise and sunset for the Chocolate Hills in just minutes versus if you're staying where most people stay, it's over an hour ride each way. So obviously if you try to catch the sunset so late, um, you, by the time you get back, it's gonna be so late. The owners are amazing. The food is fantastic. The price is unbeatable. And this is the experience. So yeah, Boho Hammock Hostel. So with that beautiful view behind me, that's been our look at the Boho vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for a lot more videos coming from Philippines. Thank you guys for watching and as always, see you guys on the next one.